everybody. So today, our Technique Tuesday is actually going to be on an older, close to my heart, thin cut. So we have these alphabets here, right? And these are the baseline alphabets. These actually um, came out with like one of the last rounds of Close to My Heart stuff. Let me just put my light on here so we can see a little bit better. Um, so they're so cute. We actually just found our set and we were being asked by some people how to use them. So on our last virtual, we showed how to use them and we think it's a really useful video. First of all, just to have um, demonstrated on our YouTube channel, but also we thought that anybody that got them and hasn't used them yet, this is a perfect opportunity for you to pull those out and use them. So just for some samples of how you can use them, this is a title. Whoops, dropped half my title. This is one title that I did make with them. So these are my babies. So Nala and Blair, or Blair and Nala, as this one says, um, that's one. I also did another one that says Disney Magic. This one is a little bit longer than a 12 by 12, um, but so you got to kind of watch your paper. You do want to make sure that before you do anything, you size out your paper. These can be used in so many different ways. So first off, the one thing you have to think about is if you want it to be how big you want it to be, basically. Um, this is a three by 12 inch paper. And I think this is a perfect size for it because if you do have something like this, you can take a piece of paper and put it um, over it. And then you have like a nice title over like a spot where photos could be. Um, you can also make something like if you wanted to do a title across the top that's a little bit smaller, you could always do something like that and make it a photo mat around a square so you have the entire paper being covered and then you have your words across the top. So that is something else that you can do. The words themselves or the um, letters themselves are about a one and a half inches, I think we figured out. Yeah, they're one and a half inches wide um, and tall. So you have, you know, you can always make that space here and make a really cool photo mat with them. Um, we will play around a little bit more with that on Throw Together Thursday, but I just have a piece of French vanilla here, a three by 12, and I am going to write Christmas across this. All right, so the first thing when we are doing this that we have to realize is the um, biggest thing and how this is gonna line up nicely is you wanna make sure that first this cut this little edge piece here let me bring this down you want to make sure that that edge piece is going to be coming off of the paper here just like that and the top of this c is going to be right at the edge of the paper as well if you look at a die see how they have that little bit of space it's not going to cut it off if you do that if you even want to because the c is round you can always use another um, one of the dies to line it up straight across the top and see how my line looks pretty straight. So I think I'm good with that. I highly suggest you washi tape. Another thing that I was being asked is can you just do it like this? So line them all up. I do not suggest that because this, these lines, these cuts might not line up and you're going to see what I mean once I do this first pass through. So let me get this going through my die cutting machine and we will continue with writing Christmas. Why do you girls like always get the zoomies when I have a, a video I'm recording? All right, so this is our first letter, our C, and see how that comes off perfectly? The paper underneath is now stays where it is. And then this part of the C will be coming off as we do the more letters. I just pull off the one part because it's a little bit easier. But we're going to put that C back onto our magnetic sheet. And then I'm going to pull out the H. All right, so this is the next tricky part. Once you get this, you literally can make anything with this. So there is another cut here, right? And that's what you want to be lined up to make your um, word across the top of your paper. The thing is, you obviously have to do this the other day, other way, but you want this line to line up with that line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take this and I'm going to feel along my paper and it kind of catches in, in that um, thread there. So that's when I know I'm in there. 
The one thing you don't want to do, though, is if the line ends there for the C, that's where you want your H to go. You don't want to put the H as close as you possibly can to the C, because then if you look, if we line that up here, see how that H is going to get half cut off? We do not want that. I did make that mistake one of my first times using this, and I will show you. So we want to line it up, but we want to make sure that that end of the C cut is now at the edge of the H. So let me tape this down and show you where I messed up the first time. So you can see here, I did overcut the end because I didn't think about that spot. So that is something um, just to think about. It does not look bad at all. It really can't be seen, but you don't want to cut it off completely because you want, the purpose of these is to make a title across the top of our paper. So let's do this and see how this one works out. What are you two Zoomy twins doing? Got the Zoomy twins. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, and let's test it. Perfect. So, see how that whole thing came up now? We can see that C clearly. We can take out the middle of the H, and nothing was cut through here. So, we lined that up perfectly. So, now I'm just going to finish up the word Christmas so you can see what the final product looks like. Actually, before I even do that, I'm going to show you this next one because this is cool. So we had to make sure that the H on that one um, wasn't going to get cut through, right? But the R is not going to because that's a much smaller cut than it was on the C. So what I'm able to do is I'm actually able to just take the R and line it up to the edge once I kind of get that connected. So let's see. Found that found it right there and then I can feel when I push it against it it actually stops right there so that's how I know my R is now um, in line with the H but it's also going to be as close as it possibly can because we don't want a gap and the closer you get your letters together the more letters that you can do in a row
right, so as we're doing our last two letters here, I just want to talk about some other things that you can do. So I'm obviously making um, a 12 inch thing across for a paper that can be um, added to like a layout or something like that. Like I said before, you could do a photo mat, but the other thing, if you want it to be 12 inches long ways and you want to put letters across the top, you can do that as well. Each letter is about, I think we figured out one and a half inches uh, wide. If you wanted to make something about a one and a quarter inches of strips of paper, like let's say you're going to do the rainbow and you want to spell rainbow, you can do that. You would start with the R and I will show you an example once I get this one out. If you start with the R and you start with a strip that's um, one and a half or one and a quarter inches. So I know that this piece of glacier is a little bit um, skinnier, obviously, than that. But let's say I have the T, right? And I wanted to do different colors. See how this paper, it actually will go off of the edge. So if you flip it, that line that cuts all that excess off is over the edge of the paper. You want that to happen when you are trying to do um, multicolored papers that you're going to line up together because first of all that way you can then line them up together at the top but also um, if you do that that will give you the option to then layer papers next to each other because if you put this die cut on here and let's say these this m is not here that a is just going to be cut in the middle of your paper and this is going to still be attached both sides are still going to be attached to the paper which you don't want you want it to be able to um, release the rest of the paper so you have just the letter standing in your paper. Um, so that's just another little trick or something that if you want to play around with these and kind of have some fun, um, that's just something that you can try to do. You can always try different color papers as well. And there we go, we have our Christmas title. So what I'm gonna show you how to um, finish this off here in a second, I will show you that. But I do wanna tell you one more thing before we go. So let's say I had a shorter title, right? So I have like this one, Blair and Nala. Um, so there's a Blair space and Nala, right? Um, you don't really wanna do too big a spaces. This is kind of for something that like is like a hashtag where everything is together. If you wanted to do a space between letters, what I suggest is the same thing that we did, right? You're going to find that track, but you're going to go as far as you possibly can with those two pieces meeting, and then you're going to cut it. You may have to trim and fix it a little bit. I did have to do that here, but it's very slight if you still follow the same thing where you catch that one cut in the track and then continue your thin cut. Um, if you have a question about that, please let us know and I will help you but let us go here and finish off this word so my biggest thing that I um want to do is you want to make this clean right so if I find my cutter here and I want to find the track of the s I think I I did that yep I'm right in the track so it's, if I kind of line it up and I can feel that I'm in that track I can then just cut off that excess it's the same thing with um, finding the thin cut track, or you could just hand cut that, but I just find that's a nice clean cut. And then I have a title that says Christmas. So these are awesome. We do have one set left in our store. So if you want it, please let us know. But if you got these and you were questioning how to use them, we challenge you to use them on a layout this week. All right, we'll see you next Tuesday.